Welcome, Comets, to This Week on Campus, your weekly webcast of news, events, and sports here at Western Iowa Tech. I'm Jane Suarez. And I'm Chase Soy. The School to Prison Pipeline presentation was held in the Center for Inclusive Excellence workshop here at Western Iowa Tech to bring attention to a disturbing trend in which students, particularly those from marginalized communities, are pushed out of the education, education system and into the criminal justice system. Lashana Moyle, the coordinator for Inclusive Excellence, had more to say. I just think it's very important that we have these discussions, again, to learn where our students yeah. may or there may not go. be coming from. Um, as a community college, we really have a unique opportunity to serve all populations, and that includes um, students or, or individuals who may or may not have come from a criminal justice system, may have had a negative experience in their previous educational institution. And so again, um, bringing this information to staff and students, allowing individuals to ask questions, know that they are not alone and some of the things they may have thought or experienced or seen is really important and it's part of inclusion work um, and here in the center the new um, center for inclusive excellence we want to start offering workshops like this um, bringing individuals together for a common reason and so today we were able to do that with the school to prison pipeline um, presentation Lashana also said that staying educated is the first step in preventing these disturbing trends and that she was honored so many people came to educate themselves and share their stories. Western Iowa Tech recently had the opportunity to hold the annual school, the annual fire school expo. The main goal was to raise awareness about fire safety and to show the newest gear. We spoke with a couple of vendors at the event and had this to say. I was able to speak with Monty Boki, a sales rep for Western Iowa Tech, for Danko, who spoke more on the event. I would be, I am the uh, Western Iowa salesman for Danko, and then Corbin Liar. is the, the farther western, <laughs> Corbin is the farther western Liar. plant against Nebraska, and uh, so anyway, I do a lot of counties, and he just does a few um, that butts up against Nebraska. Well, we got a lot of support, and then if we got new stuff, they come and check out the new items we have and stuff like that. From the list of vendors, you were able to get the inside scoop for what they provide to the community and how they can provide a safer place for everyone. We like as much attendance as we can. Uh, we also like as many vendors to turn out as we can because my end users are the people taking the classes, but the people building the trucks and selling the turnout gear and everything else are my real clients that sell directly to them. This is a great event, and if you're not a vendor, you should be here. If you're not attending, it's a great opportunity to not only learn about, you know, firefighting and the EMT type of industry, but your exposure to the various products that can help you do what you want to do are here too at the same time. The Fire School is an annual event held here at Western Iowa Tech. Next, we'll be looking at uh, some of the upcoming events here at Western Iowa Tech. Stay with us. I'm Megan Zabrowski, a Western Iowa Tech graduate. I'm from Sioux Center, and I moved to Iowa when I was in high school. As a student with disability, I needed a school I can put my trust in to help me grow and expand my career opportunities. Western Iowa Tech Community College had what I needed. I joined the math communication department to get a degree in video and media production. If you want the tool for success, come to Western Iowa Tech Community College. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. Welcome back. Come explore your, your peer imagination with the Knobs and Faders AV Club and student activities on Thursday night, March 28th. 
free food. Yes, you heard that. You heard that right. We will be served at 5.30 p.m. You, uh, you will then discover how Willie became Wonka at 6 p.m. Because Wonka the Musical will be viewed in the Dunker Center in W108, it is free, so you won't have to worry about bringing your golden ticket along. So come and watch Wonka on March 28th. We hope to see you there. For a competitive way to get some exercise, sign up for the Co-Ed Intramural Basketball League. Games will be on Sundays in April and May. If you are interested, you can sign up at the front desk of the Dunker Center, but you must be a Western Iowa Tech student. There is no cost, and the deadline to sign up is April 1st. On Tuesday, March 26th, come to the Prairie Place at 6 p.m. for the egg hunt and tie-dye event. There will be fun creative activities, and participant will get uh, the chance to pie an RA. That's all for upcoming events. We'll be taking a look at weather next. Don't go away. Welcome back. Well, Chad, we had a rocky start on Friday. How's the rest of the week going to look? Well, I wish I had a little bit better news for us. Uh, we've been awfully spoiled the last couple of weeks with highs in the 60s and sunshine, and it was, uh, it was great, but we're back to regular spring weather. So on Saturday, we have a 40% chance of snow, mainly between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., increasing clouds with a high near 37, wind gusts as high as 25. On Sunday, Saturday night, snow is likely before 4 a.m., and then rain and snow mix is likely, mostly cloudy with a low around 30. At wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, new snow accum accumulation of less than half an inch possible. On Sunday, we're looking at a high of 45, rain and freezing rain possible mixed with snow starting at 10 a.m. Breezy with gusts up to 35 miles per hour, chance of precipitation is 100%. So, you know, a new snow accumulation is less than half an inch. Sunday night, we are, <laughs> showers are possible and thunderstorms before 10 p.m., low around 36. Chance of precipitation is, on Sunday night, is 100% also. Rain before 1 p.m., then rain and snow likely near 43. Uh, chance of precipitation is 80%. And Monday night, a chance of rain and snow before 1 a.m., mostly cloudy with a low around 18. Partly sunny with a high near 30 on Tuesday. On Tuesday night, partly cloudy with a low around 13. Wednesday, we're looking at mostly sunny with a near, high near 38. And Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a low around 22. Tuesday night, 20% chance of rain, partly sunny with a high near 50 and a low of 29. So well, not the best uh, forecast, but it is early spring. You know, absolutely. we've been spoiled, so. Yeah, winter guy myself, but this has been too much. <laughs> winter guy, oh man, I don't like that. But to each his own. Well, right. thank you very much, Chad. When we come back, we'll be talking about our campus stops. Stay with us. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, wait. What? I can't drive. What? Why? My. Oh. <laughs>
As spring rolls around, the temperatures rise, so stop by the campus clinic to keep you healthy for those outdoor activities. They offer a wide variety of services to keep you active. The campus clinic is located in room A212 across from the IT help desk. They're open from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Walk-ins are welcome to show your college ID. The Comet Cupboard is stocked with food items and toiletries to help stretch your budget. It is free and available 24-7. Just show your school ID at the front desk during business hours and after hours. And weekends, you can call Campus Safety at 712-274-6414. The branch campuses in Cherokee and Denison are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The food pantry is free and confidential. If you are struggling to get around before or after school, Western Iowa Tech and Sioux City Transit have got you covered. The cost is only $155 and to, to, to obtain an individual bus pass. Just stop by the bookstore to purchase a pass and you will be able to ride the bus right from campus. Looking for a quiet spot to study your midterm or need some tutoring? The library is what you're looking for. You can find the help you need in the library. It is open Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sundays from 5 to 9 p.m. The library is closed on Saturdays. If you are looking to raise your heart rate or practice your jump shot, the Robert E. Dunker Center has everything you need. The Dunker Center is open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Fridays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays 8 a.m. to noon, and Sundays noon to 5 p.m. The Dunker Center is closed during athletic practices, so check with the front desk for information on practice times. To start your morning off right, make a quick trip to the coffee spot before classes. They have all sorts of food and beverages for everyone to enjoy and make your day just a little bit better. The coffee spot is located just inside the main entrance and is open Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 1.30 p.m. and on Friday, 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. The Campus Bookstore has all the newest Western Iowa tech gear and apparel you could want. From sweatshirts and hats to backpacks and notebooks, the bookstore is located inside entrance one across from the IT department. They are open 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Feel free to check out any of those places on campus. When we come back, we'll have closing remarks. Stay with us. Even though we didn't grow up together, he's my favorite brother. Hey, sis. I'm the baby of the family, and he's the gentle giant. What you know about poor George? Man, please, that's a classic. You know when they say people Boy, are a rare breed? Yeah, he's that. I'm sorry, I'll be back in a few hours. Don't worry, Sherry, you know I'm for you. I know. Go get the football. That was my favorite memory. He was always for you. This is a true story of me, Bridget Floyd, and this guy, George Perry Floyd Jr., my big brother. Events and information for Western Iowa Tech can be found on their social media pages. You can find them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, and be sure to follow them for more updates. If you would like something publicized on This Week on Campus, email us at thisweek@cc.edu. This is a webcast from the Mass Communications Program here at Western Iowa Tech Community College in Sioux City, Iowa. New episodes of This Week on Campus are posted every Friday afternoon. For the latest content from our programs, please visit our website at witcc.tv where you can find a direct link to our YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe and have a wonderful day.